Today we will learn how to install a package in Doom. And as an example, we will use a package called Org Super Agenda. So we haven't yet talked about Org Mode, but it's not really that important because this episode is only about showing you the general rules that you can then apply to any other package. So this is the package I'm, I'm planning to install and configure. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing is to open the configuration file and you can use space fp to quickly go to your .doom D directory. And here, instead of going to the config, we need to go first to the packages el. Packages el show the list of packages that Doom should fetch from the internet and install locally. So it's similar to things like um, Maven file or um, package.json, gem file. The only difference is that you don't have versions here. So it's only a declaration. So let's go ahead and let's declare another one. Like so. Once we have that, we need to go to the command line and we need to refresh our Doom installation. So Doom will now recognize that there is a new package to be installed and we need to agree. It's going to fetch the package and it's done. Now we can go back and we need to go to our config where we will configure this package. So in Doom there is this macro called dev package exclamation mark which is used for package configuration. So the first thing is to specify the name of uh, the package we just installed. So in our case this is org super agenda and this function has several parameters. So if you'd like to learn more about this you can use space h help and then f and you need to type uh, dev package. So now as you can see it says that this is a thin wrapper around use package, which is, which is another package that is commonly used in the Emacs community for package management and configuration. So it says that it only provides two additional uh, parameters, but those parameters are not really important now. So let's go ahead and let's see the website for use package package. So this package is relatively simple and it has several sections and the most important ones are init and config. So init is everything that happens before the package is loaded and config is everything that happens after the package is loaded. So let's try to use that knowledge. Now we need to go back to the org super agenda and let's see how we should install this pack. It says that you should enable the org mode and then you should configure org super agenda groups. In our case, we would need to inverse those steps. So the first one will be in it where we will configure this org super agenda groups parameter, which is needed for this package to work. And I already have it prepared. So I will just paste the snippet but for other packages, it's just the set queue, the name of your uh, parameter, and then the value you want to provide. So in this case, the value is relatively big because it's a list and it just defines the section of our agenda, the groups, how we should group our uh, tasks. But usually you will have more than one and everything should go inside the init uh, section of the dev package macro. So now, once we have that, we can use the, another section of this macro, which is config. And here we will enable org super agenda mode. So let's go back quickly to the docs. So they say enable org super agenda mode. So we inverted those steps. First we configure it and then we enable it. But that's not all. There is a few other options here and one of them is after. And this is important here because org super agenda is something which works within the org mode context, but more specifically within the org agenda uh, context. So it should load only after org agenda loaded. We need to declare that 
explicitly here. And that's pretty much it. We have it uh, configured and we can now use it. So there is one minor issue here which I haven't managed to resolve. So if anyone knows how to resolve that, I'd be, I'd be happy to hear. I cannot simply evolve this buffer to make it work. I need to restart the whole Emacs instance and I'm not sure why it's, uh, why it's needed. Sometimes you would like to just um, do some configuration for the packages that are already installed in Doom, for example, for org mode or any other which are enabled within our init. So there is a lot of modules here. So if you would like to configure, for example, let's say org mode, there is another uh, macro called after and it's uh, very similar to dev package, but it allows you to only specify certain uh, configuration options after something after another package has loaded. So, for example, it's very common to see that you would like to configure some things for the org mode and it will happen uh, here using set queue, for example. Yeah, so let me quickly restart this instance and let's see if it works. So this is how the agenda looks right now and it's not really configured. And now the Emacs is restarted and if I go to the agenda, you will see that the sections I defined are available and I can, uh, once the task is scheduled, it will appear in one of those, of those sections. But we will discuss org super agenda in another episode. That's all for today and let the Emacs Force be with you.